Did you know I'm a huge Renaissance fair person? No, I like, wish I would have known because I would have gone with you before while it was still happening. I might go. At, I'm in Wilmington this weekend and there's one in town and I might go by myself. <laughs> you should. Will you dress up? No, but I dressed up a lot as a kid. My parent, my dad and my stepmom love the Ren Fair. So I would go all the time as a kid and they actually got married there. What? I know. Your I, dad got married at the Ren Fair? My dad's a, a hippie and... He found and a my wench. stepmom did too. So no. like that's so you know how perfect they are for each other. How do they meet? They I think they met at some kind of like um, new age festival kind of thing. No. Yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe a <laughs> did drum they dress circle. Up? Did they dress up? <laughs> oh yeah. They not only dressed up, but the king and queen of the fair did a joust. Like they put on a joust in their honor. So like we got escorted by the king and the queen. What run I fair did your dad eight? get married? At? Phoenix, Arizona. No. It's great. But we would go like, they had friends who ran a shop called the Apothecary. Yeah. So we would go like after hours and just see the empty fair. And people would like work on their shops there. And so I kind of like grew up at the at Ren Fair. <laughs> yeah. That's so crazy. I know. I want to be normal so bad, but I've accepted as I get older that like I just did not have a normal. You I mean, were who raised did, but... at the Ren Fair? Yeah, half the time. <laughs> <laughs> so my parents are divorced, so yeah. I, my mom was pretty normal. So I think I'm lucky I kind of got the two, the two slices of life yeah. together. So I kind of can fit in. <laughs> yeah. Did your mom come to the wedding at the Ren Fair? No. No, I don't think so. Um, I'm. Sh- I think she was invited, but she I- was like, "I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good on that. Have fun with that." <laughs> oh my god! I don't need to see my ex husband mar- to marrying a new wench. Yeah, they did a hand fasting ceremony. What? It's like where they, the groom and the bride hold hands and they like twine their hands together. And the whole, I think the whole day, they're like, their hands are come tied. Together? Yeah. You fasten your hand to your lifelong partner? <laughs> yeah. Just and for walk the day. around the rent <laughs> yeah. fair like that? Yeah. And you watch jousts and I don't know. I, I have my costume. I would be an elf. I have the ears. I have you would several, be an elf. I have several <laughs> pairs of ears. But this is why I don't dress up now because it's like, why? I don't know how to describe That's it. That's where you draw the line? You no. don't want to LARP? It wasn't like, it's, I go because it's nostalgic <laughs> to my childhood. Right. That's like me at the mall. Yeah. You're not like, <laughs> dress up for the mall. <laughs> dress up for the mall. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, I kind of got, dragged there like I liked it as a kid but it was just something like we did as a family so I'll go just because it's nostalgic but I'm not like super into medieval shit but like don't you think it would do something to your soul to go fully dressed up like a it crown crush it. <laughs> <No. A little laughs> <bit. laughs> I think it'd be amazing to go alone dressed up no I feel lame enough every day already like me being alone on my headlining weekend in like a princess <laughs> <laughs> you could bring the opener <laughs> yeah, that's that is. I'm trying to look at things differently because certain dates I can bring people, but I I can't afford to fly people out. Like I know. Wilmington was hard to get to, so then you're like, oh great, the local hire. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> we'll see how this goes. And I'm trying to reframe <laughs> it because Santino told me he met Chris O'Connor that way. Oh really? And now they're like great best friends. So I'm like, okay, I'm keeping an open mind, and maybe I'll meet some cool comics on the road. Yeah, yeah. you got to keep an open mind. You got it. You can't go into it with a closed mind. <laughs> no, you can't go into comedy with a closed mind in general. <laughs> No. It's always like, what kind of adventure am I going to have? Like when I was in Vegas by myself, I was just out. I went to Meow Wolf. I told you, it's like oh, that yeah. interactive museum. It's fucking sick. I was drinking by myself in the middle of the day. And I was having the time of my life because I was like, it's work. I like that about you. You're more courageous. I'm trying to get more like that because on the road, I feel a little more like, I'm definitely not agoraphobic, but I do get a little bit of like a fear of going out by myself. And yeah. I'm trying to like break that and experience more. Yeah, you got to go to the Ren Fair. <laughs> yeah. You I'll, have to. I'll drink a mead. Yes. <laughs> you need to. Yes. Um, somebody told me that. In a, a, Annie Letterman took us to the Ren Fair when she took me to Kansas City. They had one in town and she knew this about me. So she's like, I'm taking you. And me and her and Todd and her dog Randy went. Did you dress up? Um, we didn't dress up. We didn't have a lot of time, first of all. But we took a picture, uh, like a family portrait, and they had costumes where we could just and, like, throw them on. And like those old-timey ones? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so fun. It was really fun. Uh, and then, yeah, the, my favorite movie is Mad Max, like the whole saga. Uh-huh. And the new one, Furiosa, comes out 
on Friday and I leave Thursday night. I'm doing a red eye. And so I was looking, there's no movie theaters near this club. And then I looked and there's one playing at 3 p.m. on Thursday. It's like a soft opening. So I already got tickets. So okay, I'm, I'm like super, I was going to go see the movie by myself, but there's nothing around this club. That's crazy. So you're going to go this week before? Yeah, Thursday. I'm really stoked about that. Well, are you You got to go to the Ren Fair this weekend. You have I, to. Yeah. For, for your childhood's sake. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe your dad got married at the Ren Fair. That's so fucking crazy. And they're still together. 